Don't forget to enter our Amazon gift card giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, like and comment. Hey guys, going into episode 5, the last war for the Iron Throne, everyone wonders what will happen to Danny and Jogon, what will happen to Jon and Tyrion, is Danny going to burn down King's Landing, and will we finally see more of Bran's powers? However, is Cersei going to die is not one of those questions, and one can see why. Every main character wants to kill her, and there's no way Cersei gets out of this one alive, and I agree. Cersei's reign is over, and she will die. Because remember, when you play Game of Thrones, you win or you die, there's no middle ground. I think we all can agree on Cersei losing the battle of King's Landing. In this video, we're going to talk about who is most likely going to kill Cersei in the upcoming episode. We have many candidates, from Danny and Jogon burning her inside Red Keep to Arya and the Hound sneaking up inside, killing the mountain, and then Cersei as well. There's also Jaime Lannister, who at the end of an episode 4 is riding south to King's Landing. Let's start with Jaime. He made a tough decision in the last episode The Last of the Starks, but it's the one that could mean huge things for the fate of Westeros. Game of Thrones wants us to think he might be changing sides back to Team Cersei in Season 8 Episode 5, but it seems far more likely that he'll give up his own life trying to kill her. Episode 4 included a huge victory party at Winterfell after they burned the dead, with Jaime and Brienne finally consummating the romance they built up over the years. Later when Danny and Jon ride off to war with several other major characters and Tormund heads back north of the Wall with the Wildlings, Brienne decided to stay at Winterfell to protect Sansa. Jaime stays with her, and for a minute it seemed like this might be their happily ever after. But after the news breaks of Euron Greyjoy's attack on Danny's fleet, leading to death of Rhaegal and Missandei's capture, Sansa's words cut Jaime the most. I always wanted to be there when they execute your sister, Sansa says. Seems like I won't get the chance. In the middle of the night, Jaime packs up to leave. Brienne pleads with him to stay, saying that he's a good man and so much better than Cersei. You can't save her, Brienne says. You don't need to die with her. Stay here, stay with me, please. Brienne, as well as all of us, are led to believe that Jaime is switching sides back to Team Cersei, fleeing back to King's Landing to protect his sister and former lover. But Jaime's response makes him sound like a man who still feels like he hasn't redeemed himself enough. When talking to Brienne, Jaime recounts his terrible deeds pushing Bran out the window, strangling his cousin whilst imprisoned by Robb Stark, and retaking Riveron from Natalis in Season 6. He did all of this for Cersei. She's hateful and so am I, Jaime says. His self-loathing is not necessarily an admission of guilt so much as it's his motive for going to kill Cersei. It's an action that will break his heart. Jaime is the kind of anti-hero who's okay with doing a despicable act if it serves the greater good. So when he rides for King's Landing, he's probably going to kill another monarch, rather than die beside Cersei in the upcoming battle. It's also telling that Jaime doesn't bring up killing the Mad King Aerys on his list of hateful deeds, the act that earned him the Kingslayer nickname. To Jaime, killing the Mad King is the only noble action he did. Jaime will always love Cersei on some level, and killing her will be even more difficult for him than killing King Aerys. But just like then, he's recognized he has it within his power to end the war and prevent a lot of suffering, prevent a lot of innocent people from dying. If this comes true, it would also fulfill the Velikar prophecy that Cersei will die at the hands of a younger brother. Look closely at this shot from the season 7 premiere that might have foreshadowed Jaime being the Velikar that will put an end to Cersei. Above Cersei's head, the words the neck. Just above Jaime the fingers. Will Jaime wrap his fingers around Cersei's neck? Perhaps. From the episode 5 trailer, we know for a fact that Jaime will sneak inside King's Landing, as here you can see him a hooded man passing through the Golden Company as they march out of King's Landing to face the upcoming Danny's forces. It's the same cloak and hood he had when arriving in Winterfell. While the Golden Company marches outside King's Landing, Jaime is heading towards the Red Keep to face his sister Cersei. I believe Cersei will, much like the Mad King did, want to use Wildfire to burn them all when she comes to the realization she's lost the war, perhaps after the Golden Company betrays her and sides with Aegon Targaryen. After Yorn's fleet burns and after all her scorpions are destroyed, after the small folk is safely escorted out of the Red Keep and when she sees Danny riding Jogon to burn her in her castle, Cersei might give an order to Kyburn to burn them all, to burn the entire King's Landing with Wildfire. I mean, that's most definitely what Cersei would do, after she sees she's lost the war. If she cannot live, then no one will. However, Cersei will not manage to pull off this plan since the Velencar will stop her. The Velencar being the one who already prevented such plan from happening during Robert's rebellion. Jaime Lannister will stop Cersei from burning down the entire capital and its population to the ground. Jaime will kill the ruler of the Seven Kingdoms once again, but this time people will not mock his name. Jaime will be remembered as a hero, and his great deed will fulfill his empty pages in the famous Book of Brothers. Brienne will make sure all Jaime's deeds are written down. This would, in my opinion, be the best possible way to execute the Valencar prophecy and the end of the Lannister twins, the Mad Queen and Jaime Lannister. 
I believe Jaime will be the one to kill his sister and once again save King's Landing. Jaime already sacrificed his honor once in order to save hundreds of thousands of innocent lives by killing the Mad King and has ever since been called a Kingslayer. However, Cersei now intends to do the same. It's pretty safe to say Jaime is going to kill his sister once she gives an order to Kyburn to as the Mad King used to say burn them all, thereby truly earning the reputation of the Kingslayer, or in this case Queenslayer. All his life it's been an insult, but now people will call him that in triumph. Jaime will do noble sacrifice once again by killing the Mad Monarch, but this time he will not trade it with his honor, this time it requires his life. Jaime will sacrifice himself by killing Cersei as he knows the mountain will kill him immediately. That's one possibility. The other is Arya killing Cersei. Arya Stark, the hero of Winterfell, celebrated making the most important kill by practicing her archery skills while everyone else engaged in more old-fashioned feasts, but season 8 episode 4 also set Arya down a path that could lead to her completing that infamous kill list before the series ends. Here's why Arya could very easily be the one to kill Cersei Lannister in episodes 5 or 6. While everyone else in Winterfell celebrated their victory over the Night King, the Hound and Arya Stark were two of the only people who could not seem to enjoy themselves. Not long after the victory party, the Hound left Winterfell and Arya was there to follow him. They both mentioned having an unfinished business at King's Landing, and neither one of them had any plan to come back. What are they really talking about here? It's almost certainly a joint suicide mission to infiltrate King's Landing and kill the Mountain and Cersei Lannister. Their reunion as traveling companions also echoes back to their time together in seasons 3 and 4, and with Arya's skills as a faceless assassin, we're starting to think they might actually pull this off. The Hound's unfinished business definitely refers to his lifelong grudge against his older sibling the Mountain, who's currently some kind of a zombie slave to Cersei. The Game Ball is a popular fan theory pitting these two brothers together in a battle to death, which has always been pretty essential. Anyone who wants to kill Cersei will have to first take down the Mountain, and the Hound is probably one of the only warriors big enough to stand a chance. In the season 7 finale, the Hound and the Mountain encountered one another at the Dragon Pit meeting. Remember me, the Hound asked his brother. Yeah, you do. What did they do to you? Doesn't matter. That's not how it ends for you, brother. You know who's coming for you. You've always known. The Hound fighting the Mountain feels inevitable, all in the service of Arya Stark killing Cersei Lannister. When Arya was imprisoned at Harrenhal years ago, she added the Mountain to her kill list, because he tortured and killed people she cared about. So it's possible that Arya would not mind fighting alongside the Hound for the game ball. Her main target, however, is definitely Cersei Lannister. We also have not seen Arya flex her faceless magic in Season 8, so she'll probably wear someone else's face to get close to Cersei. Some fans theorize she'll wear Jaime Lannister's face to do the deed, which would technically fulfill the Valonqar prophecy. Because Arya and the Hound left for King's Landing before Jon, Danny, and Jaime, they're probably already within the city gates by the time we see Miss Sandy beheaded at the episode's end. Cersei also mentioned during episode 4 they left the gates open to flood the city with innocent people. This might prevent Danny from attacking directly with her one remaining dragon, but it also makes the city more vulnerable to sneaky assassins. The last option is Danny killing Cersei with dragon fire inside a castle. At the end of episode 4, Danny is left with one and only choice to unleash fire and blood on Cersei. Did early Danny's vision of King's Landing actually contain a huge spoiler for Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 5? Back in Season 2, Danny had a vision that she was in the Iron Throne room, but everything was destroyed and the ground was covered in snow. Or so he thought. Now that the Night King is dead and Danny is seemingly ready to burn King's Landing to the ground, the snow in Danny's vision was actually an ash. The throne room covered in ash makes a lot more sense at this point in Season 8. It also seems to suggest that despite the best efforts of her advisors Tyrion and Varys, Danny will follow Miss Sandy's final words Jacaris and burn everything and everyone in a ray. Then again, maybe Danny is not the one who ends up burning King's Landing to the ground. After all, she is not the only one capable of blowing up the castle. Cersei still has wildfire under the Red Keep, and she could use it to destroy the Iron Throne rather than see her enemy take it. Either way, it seems pretty clear that King's Landing will be largely destroyed and covered with ash by the end of Game of Thrones season 8. In conclusion, I believe Jaime will be the one to kill Cersei, whereupon the Mountain will kill him. After Jaime kills Cersei and the Mountain kills Jaime, the Kill Game Ball will probably take place, as I believe that's the moment Arya and the Hound will arrive. Arya and the Hound will then together kill the Mountain, but Hound will most likely get mortally injured in the process, and Arya will probably have to give her old friend a gift of death out of mercy. However, Danny doesn't know all of this happened. For all she knows, Cersei is still sitting on the Iron Throne, and then she will, as leaked photos confirm, burn down the Red Keep. Let's hope Arya escapes on time. If you'd like to hear more leaks and information we have about Episode 5, make sure to watch our previous titled video, Season 8 Episode 5 Preview and Leak Scenes. Who do you think will put an end to Cersei? Please let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section down below. 
And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.